Hello friends, welcome to my channel. My name is Wolo. I want to say thank you to everyone who have subscribed to my channel. It's my usual intro and you must have noticed that something has changed and that's because I am not at my usual spot where I create videos. And uh, before I go into details on why my spot has changed, I will create a separate video maybe later on in the future to explain why my spot has changed and as from today, this is where I will be sitting down to create videos. Yes, a lot of things have just been going on behind the scenes for the past one to two weeks. And um, yeah, the weather is changing, but well, this is Canada. We have to just adapt to the changing weather in Manitoba and in Canada in general, because it's already getting cold, too cold. Minus eight, minus nine, minus 13 degrees already in November. So yeah, this is the reality. So today's video is not about the usual immigration topic where I talk about what is on, on ground in terms of the rural and northern immigration pilot. Um, it's something that's going to be beneficial to people who are already in the process of coming to Canada and um, people who have already gotten their provincial nominations, people who have gotten their visas and are planning and strategizing. For some people, they might want to just to come to Canada, do a soft landing and go back and plan before coming back fully. While, while for some others, they just want to, you know, move straight without looking back. So this is going to be beneficial for you, especially if you plan to go back to school when you come to Canada. If you intend to go back to school to maybe do a master's degree or maybe just do any course, uh, maybe do a PhD degree, I will ask you to really think twice before you make that decision of going back to school. And the reason is because Canada is not so particular about your educational qualification, especially if it is not in the healthcare sector, if it's not in the educational sector itself, and if it is not in some other relevant sectors like research. So if you don't find yourself in any of these three industries or three sectors there is no point going to school to acquire another degree or a phd or whatever i'm not trying to discourage you from doing that but if you know that at the end of the day what you intend to study you would have to use it to start searching for a job then it is better for you to get that job first before you go back to school but for those who want to go back to school to study anything related to the healthcare industry, it is advisable to just go straight without wasting time. You just start immediately and within um, three years, four years, you you got you, you must have gotten your license to practice or whatever. And then there is a job waiting for you because the healthcare sector in Canada is always in demand in almost all of the provinces. It's always in demand. But for any other sector, um, those ones, the job market, you have to watch the job market very carefully before you decide on going back to school. So I'll be giving an example. If um, let's say you have a bachelor's degree in accounting and you come to Canada, you want to do an MBA. There is no point doing an MBA when you can just do a professional certification. That's a CPA. So once you get a CPA, the pathway, the doors are open for you. You have lots and lots of opportunities. So you have saved yourself time and um, you have invested in something that is more beneficial to the Canadian society compared to doing an MBA, which at the end of the day might not fetch you anything compared to um, a CPA. So that's one example there. So another example is for human resources. So instead of coming to Canada and wanting to do a master's in human resources, you can just do a postgraduate diploma in human resources and then become a CPHR. And with that, you have lots of doors open for you as a CPHR. You can just select one specialty course in human resources, focus on it. Once you get that certification, you know that you have lots and lots of opportunities waiting for you. So there are lots and lots of um, professional courses that one can just do within one year. And you have bigger opportunities waiting for you compared to doing a master's in art or a master's in philosophy or a master's in business administration and MBA, all those things. They are more or less not relevant to the workplace. Um, yes, they can have one or two additional relevancy, but in terms of you searching for a job, 
when you're searching for a job, you will not see them putting a requirement to say, oh, yeah, the person must have a master's in this. You find you rarely find such um, requirements in a job description or in a job advert. But you can find um, something like somebody who has a CPA, somebody who has a CPHR, you know, those things you find them in job adverts. So those are the things you should focus on instead of focusing on getting a master's or getting um, a PhD. Because at the end of the day, those degrees, they do not more or less add anything to your... It doesn't add to you. It only adds the knowledge, but it doesn't add any other thing extra. And it doesn't make any difference in the workplace because in the workplace you get to find out that the person who is your manager or the person who is your director just has a high school diploma so now the canadians themselves what they are after is just having the barest minimum education which is a high school diploma and a high school diploma or a high school certificate is more like a secondary school certificate back from where i am coming from whereas the person is your manager, the person just finished secondary school and started working immediately. And sometimes they just pick one or two courses here and there. Maybe one managerial certificate course, maybe one accounting course like financial accounting one or financial accounting two. Maybe one or two, three courses and add it, with their, um, and add it to their high school diploma. And they are managers, they are directors in a company. Whereas you come with all your master's degree, you come with your PhD degree and all that and you are nowhere. So they are not so much about your educational qualification, but about your experience and what you can add to the company. If you are interested in the healthcare sector, if your career is in the healthcare sector, then by all means go back to school because those ones, they are always in demand. But if your career is not in the healthcare sector, or in the educational sector or in the research sector then there is no point getting an additional qualification like a master's or a phd because at the end of the day you might not even get a job that is related to your educational qualification and then you start feeling frustrated with the system so this is one information i want to share for people who are planning to come to canada then another information for people who plan to send their children to school in Canada. There is one thing you should know that the although the educational system in Canada is quite high, you find out that most Canadians themselves uh, hardly after high school hardly go to college or go to the university. The Canadian universities are mostly populated by international students. That's where they get the population from. So almost all the Canadian universities, Canadian colleges are populated by international students, students from all over the world. And then you start asking yourself certain questions. So where are the Canadian students themselves? Or where are the Canadian born students? Uh, what do they do? After high school, the Canadian students themselves, they start working immediately. And while they are working, they are gaining the experience. And while they are working, gaining the experience, they are just picking courses bit by bit in piecemeal they can it can take them as much as eight years to even get a degree or get a certification but they don't mind as long as they are working getting the experience and then doing their courses in piecemeal once they get their courses they are, are more, they are more or less higher in level than someone who went straight to a four years degree program without any work experience so that's the difference between a canadian born um student and an international student an international student comes to canada he's focusing on his academic squarely while the canadian student is focusing on work experience and at the same time combining it with getting a part-time education so those are the things they do you know and that's why they are more or less ahead that's why you get get to into and that's why you go to um, a company and you find out that the person who is your manager has only a high school and has one or two certifications added whereas you you have your phd you have your master's degree and you are more or less working or reporting to someone who has a high school for regulated professions in canada like the healthcare sector lawyers um engineers teachers these professions that will require you doing some form of licensing yes your education counts for you but for some other courses like um, English, if you studied English, you know, or you did one or two funny courses like that, 
most times it doesn't count when it comes to looking for a job sometimes the master's degree the phd degrees all the degrees they are really not relevant in canada especially if the job sector related to those degrees do not have demand for healthcare there is always demand for it there is always demand so if you want to do a master's in technology yes go ahead and do a master's in technology there will always be demand for technology graduates it graduates people in animation gaming software developers and stuff like that there's always demand for those group of people in the developed world they don't care about your degrees and since they don't care about your degrees it is best to do courses or certifications professional certifications in line with your career path compared to amassing degrees and degrees and degrees i know i am from africa and even asians as well i know that we love to study that's one thing we like to do we like to be proud to say oh i have a phd in this i have a phd in that and blah 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 but at the end of the day it doesn't make any sense having a phd and you don't have a job that is commensurate to what you have gotten in terms of education if you want to go into research or if you want to become an educationist if you want to remain in a lab or remain in the educational sector where you have to pass on knowledge then it's good to acquire a phd but if you know that you will not be in these areas then there is no point acquiring a phd so this is the information i want to share i am not discouraging anybody it's not my style to discourage people I just try to pass um, relevant information that I know is happening on ground and so that you have a realistic picture of what is available on ground. If you are planning to come to do a first degree in nursing, yes, that is fantastic because healthcare is always in demand. But if you're coming to do a first degree in arts, like you have to think twice and ask yourself at the end of the day after you have your first degree in arts what next what will you do with it you know and then you find yourself on a level where um, people who have high school diplomas are even managers whereas you are still struggling to become successful in Canada so thank you for watching till the end and I hope to see you in my next video where I'll be sharing information about um thunder bay yeah thunder bay is one of the communities chosen for the rural northern immigration pilot so my next video will be on thunder bay thank you so much for watching and see you in my next video bye bye